Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's getting later in the year and winter will soon be upon us. Now what that means is that the growing season and any outdoor gardening is going to soon come to an end. Now at least that's what it is for me here in Texas. Now for me, that means any kind of gardening or vegetable growing that I'm going to be doing needs to be done indoors. Which brings me to today's review video. Now not too long ago, let Pot sent me their LPH Pro Smart Hydroponic Garden System, which is an indoor hydroponic system for growing small vegetables and herbs. Now that system has worked amazingly well for me and to this day I'm still using it. In today's video, I'll be reviewing Lead Pot's all new LPH Max 4-in-1 Automated Smart Hydroponic Garden, which just completed their Kickstarter campaign and is supposed to be a huge improvement and advancement from the previous model. Now just a heads up, Lead Pot did send this thing to me and it is a pre-production unit, so not all of the features are yet available. But I'm expecting some amazing things based on my experience with the LPH Pro. I'm excited to share with you this sneak peek of the LPH Max, which should be available by the time that this video is posted. Okay, so like I mentioned before, I'm gonna unbox this thing, and as you will notice, this packaging is not the final packaging, because this is a pre-production unit. Now what I'm gonna focus on are the contents and the features and the functionality of the device because this is a pre-production unit. Now what's great about the LPH Max is it further automates every function required to grow and maintain your indoor vegetable garden. Now this system will automatically add water and nutrients when needed. So that's gonna be a lifesaver and something that's gonna be great, especially if you don't like watering or adding nutrients on a daily basis. It's also got a larger number of planting pods, which means that you can grow a ton more vegetable. And it's also got an automated nine level adjustable LED system, which means you can simulate all kinds of sunlight scenarios. Now, in addition to that, this new system supports three intelligent ways to control your hydroponic system. You can either control it through the app, through Bluetooth, or you can control it through Wi-Fi, or you can connect it to Alexa and control it through voice commands and automation, which is amazing. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look and see what's inside this package and how this thing works. Okay. So as usual, you do get an instruction manual, but this of course I don't believe is the final instruction manual. So there are some things that are still being worked out. And again, not all the features are gonna work that are listed in this just yet, but the final production model should be fully functional in the next couple of weeks and should, should be available as soon as this video is posted. All right, so from first glance, I already like the look of this new hydroponic system. It looks very modern and contemporary. Now, if you don't remember what the previous model looked like, I'll go ahead and leave a link to the video in the cards above. So, of course, again, this is the LPH Max model, and this just finished the Kickstarter campaign again, um, and is gonna be available as soon as this video is posted. This, again, is a pre-production model, but from what I'm told, most of the newer features should already work, so we're gonna test those out. So as you can see, the LCD on this one is a lot larger than the previous model, and it's got a lot of touch capacitive buttons on the front as well, so that's something that's nice. This model is also made up of some heavy duty plastic as well as some aluminum, so unlike the previous model where it was majority made of plastic, this one has some aluminum construction to it. The LCD itself is about 4.8 inches, so definitely a lot of information can be shown on the LCD itself. The LED rod, or this roof, can extend up to 19 inches, which means that you know it's got a lot of growth opportunity when it comes to the plant growth. The plants do have a lot of space to grow and expand. And then again, there are 21 pod holes, so you can grow 21 different types of vegetables, which is the most of any kind of indoor hydroponic system. And from a capacity standpoint, this system can hold up to 7.5 liters of water. And that doesn't count the additional water that you can connect to it, so it automatically fills this thing up. So virtually never needing to maintain this thing at all. 
And one thing that I also noticed right off the bat is where you refill the water is right here on the corner instead of right in the middle. Now I find that to be an improvement because in the previous model, the refill port was right in the middle. So when plants grew over it, it was very hard to refill that water. But now that it's on the corner, it's in a perfect space to easily, if you're gonna manually refill this, easily refill both nutrients and water in this uh, system. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and see what else comes with this thing. All right, so first things first, you do get your 21 growing baskets, which plug right into the holes, as well as the growing domes, which are the things you place on top of any holes that aren't growing any material, just to make sure that all the moisture stays within the system itself. Uh, it's also great for incubating you know, seeds at the beginning when there's no growth at all. It keeps and retains the moisture within the pot itself, so that's always nice to have. And it helps to germinate and promote the growth of the seedlings. Okay, and again, you also get the AB plant food. Uh, so depending on the amount of liquid that's in this reservoir, and then also depending on the types of plants you're growing, uh, will determine how much of the A and B nutrients you are. So these are solid nutrients, so you will need to add water in order to liquefy those nutrients. Okay, and then you get your AC adapter, which plugs right into it, and it looks like there's also a, I'm gonna assume this is the water filling tube that you connect to your water source, which you will use to refill this system. And it looks like you also get your 21 sponges where you'll actually place the seeds. And what's good about these sponges they'll, is that they'll allow the roots to grow through them so that it will promote the growth of your vegetables, but also retain the water so that your seeds are always getting the adequate amount of water and nutrients. Uh, and then also inside is the mini pump as well, uh, which is something that was in the previous one, which will help you to cycle the water and to cycle the nutrients within the water as well. Okay, and then also there is a sponge which you also will place in here and what that does is it helps to filter the water so that you don't get all this gunk into the tube so that it doesn't clog the pump up. And then you also get an extra sponge, I guess, but I guess you can place that in there to kind of hold the sponge in place, but you do get an extra sponge. Okay, to get started, all you have to do is dilute these AB nutrients to liquid by just adding water. And again, these all come in solid format, so all you have to do is add water to both bottles and then shake them up until the nutrients are dissolved. And then this is completely liquid. Now once that's done, all you have to do is add these nutrients to this little reservoir right here in equal parts, um, one at a time according to the instructions. So for example, if you add 50 milliliters of nutrient A, you'll have to add 50 milliliters of nutrient B as well to this little reservoir. And what it will do is just store the nutrients and when it's necessary, it will pump them out through this little tube right here into the water and then the pump itself, because it's constantly cycling or cycling on a schedule, it'll cycle that into the water uh, so it's adequate enough for the plants that are in the system. Now also in this reservoir is this little tower tube right here. And what you do is you take this little tube and you plug this metal end or this back end into the back of the system. And then you plug this end into, let's say a water bottle or something, or what they have in the instructions are those large gallon jugs of water and it'll automatically siphon water and pump it out through here to refill the reservoir. And there is a sensor somewhere in here, so it knows exactly how high the water is, so it never overfills. So that's always a nice thing as well. Okay, and according to the instructions, when you are filling up these nutrient bottles with water to dissolve the nutrients, the instructions do say you wanna use distilled or purified water. Now I assume that is to make sure that you are not contaminating the nutrients with water that may contain algae in it. So the best bet, according to the instructions, is to use distilled or purified water. So I've already gone and done that, and I'm gonna shake these bottles up until you, I don't hear any more nutrients. And then once that's done, I'm gonna measure out and fill this reservoir right here with an equal part of both A and B nutrients. 
Now the good thing about these nutrients according to the instructions on the back is that these do have a two year shelf life if they're stored in an ambient temperature without exposure to sunlight. So they can sit for a while. Now what's good about these nutrients is if you do run out of them, they are fairly inexpensive and you can repurchase refills on Let Pot's homepage. I assume you can also use any off the shelf brand from your typical garden stores as well. But in the past, using these, my vegetables did end up growing very well. Uh, so you'll get to see those later when I set this system up and put it side by side to the old version. All right, so for now I'm gonna measure out an equal part of both A and B nutrients. It looks like I'm dripping this thing everywhere because I shook it up. So I'm gonna put about 50 fluid ounces in here of A, which means I'm also gonna put about 50 fluid ounces of nutrient B as well. And this is a little much. So as you can see, they do both have different colorings to them, so they are different types of nutrients. Okay, so the reservoir is filled up and it looks like it can probably take more. I can probably put both of these bottles in there, but I guess for now this is good enough to start. Now from a water perspective, I don't think it matters what kind of water you put in here, whether it's tap water, distilled water, or purified water, or even bottled water. I think you can put any type of water in here. I'm probably gonna use distilled water just because I don't want any kind of algae growth or anything, and you know, having that distilled water just helps to make sure that the water stays clean. Although, if you keep the system covered up, um, it shouldn't promote any kind of algae growth in here. Now, when you're filling this with water, it says you don't want to fill it past this line. So there is a level where you should stop filling up the water. But I guess there's some kind of measurement in here which will detect how much water is in there and it'll fill it up as high as necessary in order to keep the system working well. Now, one thing to note, uh, you are going to want to install the refill tube first because once this is filled with water or and nutrients, it's going to be very hard to turn this thing over and you will need to turn this thing over to install the tube. So that's probably one piece of feedback for Let Pot is to put this tube somewhere that's easier to install or access because once you fill this thing up, if this tube happens to come loose, it's gonna be very difficult to plug it back in um, without having to take all the water out and all the nutrients out because you can't tip this thing over without spilling everything. So that's probably a bit of feedback. But overall, you're gonna to wanna to install this refill tube before you do fill this reservoir up with water. All right, so once you put the nutrients into the plant food reservoir, all you need to do is fill this thing up with water. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this thing up with more distilled water. And again, and one thing that I learned from the previous model is that you do wanna fill this thing up before you do plug it in and turn the thing on. So I'm just gonna fill this up until it reaches the arrow or the level it should be at. Okay, and once that's done, all you need to do is put the lid back on, then install the growing pods or growing baskets. So again, there are 21 slots, so depending how many vegetables you want to grow, you know, is it determines how many of these pots you're going to fill. Whatever you don't fill with seeds, you just put the little caps on top of it and it keeps it at least closed so that sunlight won't get in. Now this is pre-production, but in the previous unit, they did provide little caps that weren't clear. So it does block out the sunlight so that little things like algae doesn't grow. So I'm not sure if the final product will include those, but the last one did, so I assume the final product will also. Okay, so once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and fill these sponge packets with seeds and drop them in there. Okay, so now that the baskets are installed, I've gone ahead and plugged this in. Let's go ahead and power this on. And almost immediately, the pump inside starts to go. And the LEDs turn on. Okay, so as you can see, powered on, it looks like it works pretty well. And it's very bright. Um, I can't see the LCD panel from this side, so I'm going to go around so I can talk about what I see on the screen itself. 
So as you can see, this LCD screen is a lot more graphical and better to look at. So on the screen itself, it shows your Wi-Fi signal strength if you're connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, it shows the time, it shows the growing days, which allows you to track how long you've, your plants have been growing. Uh, it shows the temperature of the water, either in Celsius or Fahrenheit, which you can adjust by pressing the Celsius or Fahrenheit up and down button. So right now it's 84 degrees Fahrenheit for the water. It shows your nutrient levels. Um, in the middle, it shows what plant mode you're set at, whether you're set to grow vegetable and herbs or flowers or vegetables and you know whatever you're growing so you can set that as well because that's also going to determine the type and amount of nutrients that are added. Uh, it shows a graphical interface for your water level which shows you which I guess is a good visual indicator of when you're running low on water which you know you don't need to necessarily worry about because this thing will auto refill itself. Uh, it also shows you the brightness level uh, which is adjustable again there's nine levels for this uh, and then the pump mode, whether it's operating or if it's not operating. Now on the bottom, it also shows the settings for the intervals when you're going to have the lighting turn on or turn off. So that's also automated based on the settings that you input into this thing as well. Now I guess just to experiment a little, I do know that the Celsius and Fahrenheit changes between the Celsius and Fahrenheit display. This button, I guess, is to set up your Wi-Fi in time, or it's a setting button to change the settings. So uh, you can change that. Okay, so water level, let's see. Uh, that just sets the time. So if I want to set this thing to turn on, let's say at 7 a.m., I can set it there. And then I can set the time for when I want it to turn off. So right now, I guess let's set it for... So 5 p.m. in military time. Well, let's just go ahead and set this to 1700, which means 5 p.m. for it to turn off. Okay, so again, we'll go ahead and set the time. Right now it is 11 p.m., so you can see that I am recording this pretty late. So that's 23, 37. So again, this is probably going to be easier to set up in the app but at this time the app is not yet ready, but it will be by the time this video is live. So most of this stuff can easily be adjusted and set up through the app itself. Okay, growing days. So we're on day zero because we haven't started yet. Okay, so those are the settings. Okay, so from a bright, this button, second button is to toggle between the nine different brightness levels. And there are settings specifically for veg and herbs as well as flower and fruits. So we're doing veg and herbs, so we'll set that one. Uh, then there's a button for pump, so you can toggle between operating and no disturb, I guess, which means off. Uh, and as you can see, the water level automatically adjusted itself. So it's not completely filled to where it should be yet, but it does track it. So there is a sensor inside so that it will refill uh, based on the water level itself. Now it's not yet operational in this pre-production model, but the second button, which allows you to switch between vegetable and herb and flower and fruit, if you short press it, it allows you to switch between those two modes. But if you long press for three seconds, it allows you to switch between the nine brightness levels of the lights itself. So that's gonna be a function that I think is gonna be available once this thing is officially launched. Now when it comes to setting up the system, I know it seems pretty manual to cycle through and change all the settings. However, once you do install the app, setting this thing up is going to be a lot easier because all of the functionality can also be adjusted and set up in the app itself, which in the previous model was very easy. What's also good about the app is that it allows you to not only control this thing remotely, but also monitor the plant growth and the progress of your plants as well remotely. Now from a pricing perspective, this new LPH Max hydroponic system will cost about $329 retail. Now when it launches, there's also going to be a special early bird price of $229 when this thing is released and available. But if you want to buy one for yourself and you're one of the first 50 people to use my link below in the description section, you can get a super early bird price of about $199 that LetPot is gifting my viewers. In addition to that, you also get a free gift, which I believe is an extra sponge package. So act fast before all those 50 spots are taken. 
Now for me, that is an amazing deal for this new automated hydroponic system that includes four new automation features to automatically refill nutrients, refill water, automatically cycle the water, and then automatically adjust the LEDs between the nine adjustable levels of brightness. Now in addition to that, being able to wirelessly control this thing through Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and Alexa, making this system completely hands-off and automated. Now I did end up playing with this LPH Max a little bit more, and I found out that the brightness button does work on this pre-production unit. So not only can you switch between the different plant modes for vegetable and herb and flower and fruit, but if you press and hold the button for three seconds, it also enables you to change the brightness level. So you can toggle between the different brightness levels. So there are again nine different levels of brightness that you can toggle between on this LPH Max. Okay, and then to test the automated uh, refill function, I didn't fill this LPH Max all the way up to the top. As you can see from the water level, it isn't filled all the way up to the top. So I'm going to test that out by using this jar of water. And to enable that, all I have to do is press and hold the pump button and it will activate. So as you can see, it's automatically filling the reservoir up. And then once it reaches the optimal level, the nutrient pump should kick in by itself. And I will say it is kind of loud, but I think when you put the lid on it, it won't be as loud. So now, as you can see from the diagram on the screen, which is very colorful, the water level is completely full. And once the lid is on and this thing is in operations, it'll automatically, periodically pump in the nutrients as they're needed. All right, so from a comparison perspective, I am now in my kitchen where I've got the previous LPH Pro from LetPot as well as the new LPH Max from LetPot. So as you can see, the previous LPH Pro model did very well when it came to growing herbs. I've now gone ahead and replaced some of the older herbs that I've already picked most of the vegetables off of, those plants with new herbs that are still yet to grow. But as you can see from a growth standpoint, this thing is doing such a great job and abundantly growing a lot of vegetables and just in a short amount of time. So as you can see, the system has worked very well and these are probably the largest basil leaves that I've ever seen. I don't know if that's a result of the nutrients that are being used, but it's so fragrant and also so huge, these leaves alone. But we've been using these vegetables for about a month or two months now and the herbs and vegetables are constantly growing even as we start picking them off for everyday use. So if results matter, then here is an example of how well this system works and how confident I am that the new LPH Max is going to work just as well, especially because this one is through me manually adding nutrients and water when needed, whereas this one is going to manage that itself. So I'm excited to see where this one will take us and how much the growth will look like in this system. So I've already gone ahead and filled this new LPH Max system with seeds and over time we'll go back and check the progress of how well the plants and vegetables are growing in this new system. So in the end, if you're going to want an automated system that's going to allow you to grow your herbs and vegetables year round, even during winter, then the LPH Max, this new one, is the right system for you. Now in the end, I'm not sure how well this new model is gonna perform, but based on previous experience, you can see that I'm very happy with the product. And the icing on the cake is that everything is automated from automatically refilling the nutrients to automatically refilling the water to automatically adjusting the lights and allowing you to manage this thing hands-free, wirelessly, and remotely without needing to worry about going back and checking the water levels and checking the nutrient levels or adjusting the lights, then this is definitely the system for you. And not only that, aesthetically this also looks very nice compared to the previous model and other hydroponic systems that are available out there on the market. Now the only time that this new LPH Max will need intervention from you is if the nutrient levels are low in the reservoir 
or if your secondary water source for refilling this is empty. That's the only time you'll need to refill the nutrients and re maybe replace the secondary water source for refilling this reservoir. Anyways, as usual, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And if you want to take advantage and get this thing at the super early bird price of $199, make sure you're one of the first 50 people to use my link in the description section below. If you have any questions or experience with other Let Pot products, I'd love to hear your opinions as well in the comments section below. And on your way out, I'd appreciate it if you help this channel out by smashing that like button and subscribing. Please also make sure to ring that bell icon to get notified when I post new content. Until next time, see ya.